So you guys want to learn how to play Nook. Well you guys have come to the right place, but before the video starts, I just want to say, as you guys can see here, the majority of you are watching my videos, but you aren't subscribed. So I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that red subscribe button down below. I upload weekly, so it's only the benefit of you guys. But with that being said, let's get onto the video and I'll teach you guys what I've learned from this past month of playing nothing but Nook. So what I'd rate Nook on a difficulty scale out of three would be around a two to a 2.5. And this is because the play style is a little bit different than I'm used to, but the guns are amazing. The ability is easy to use and actually helpful. And yeah, that's, that's why I'd rate the difficulty of learning Nook. All right, well, first and foremost, as goes for most operators, the loadout is probably the most important thing. So what I would recommend if you're actually trying to do really good as Nook or just overall what I prefer is I'd recommend running the FMG9, which is her SMG with reflex and muzzle. Her secondary would be the Deagle or I believe it's called the D50 in game, but you know, the Desert Eagle with muzzle and laser sight. The laser sight's kind of optional, but I find that it helps. And lastly, I'd also recommend using breach charges. If you're trying to have a little bit more fun as Nook, uh, then I'd recommend using the 612 SD, which is the shotgun, just with like a holographic sight. And then a secondary would also be the Deagle, muzzle and laser for the attachments. And of course, uh, Claymore. And it can go both ways. You can do pretty good with both of these. For the preferred loadout where you run the FMG9, I say that mainly because the FMG9 is just so much more versatile and you can use it in a lot more different situations. And the funner loadout using the shotgun is amazing. It's, again, it's really fun to use, but I'd usually use the Deagle most of the time for actually killing people. And the shotgun was more for opening barricades or just opening up different angles for me to use my Deagle to try and get the defensive operators, you know, off their guards. Going into tips and tricks, the top two things I'd have to say for anyone trying to play Nook is to find different routes or angles and try to cover other areas for your team. So going a little bit more in depth to what I mean by this, for finding different routes or angles, say your team is pushing from the north. Maybe you should try and push from the south or create some sort of system to where you can get the defenders off of their game, maybe separate them. And for covering other areas for your team, so say you want to be a little bit more passive, say you want to play with your team and you want to stay as a little group or at least close by, say your team's in one area, maybe just check the area right next to them to, you know, if anyone's trying to flank them on defense, then you can stop that from happening. Some other things that I would recommend when playing Nook is it's similar to playing Cav. So if you guys ever played Cav before, or if you want to learn how to play Cav, cross promo, there's a video. Nonetheless, it's similar to playing Cav, but it's on attack. So it's a slightly bit harder, but if you think similar to how you'd play Cav, that's similar to how you played Nook. And similar to that is try to think like a defensive roamer. So say there's like an Ella or a Cav or just someone who roams around, think of what they might do and counter that. Do something to mess up that strategy and you'll most likely find a bunch of people and you'll get them as Nook the majority of the time. Some other things I'd say is just be super aware. And if you aren't good at being aware, then try to drone out everything. And nonetheless, make sure to have fun and be very confident when you play Nook. Lastly, I always like to recommend other operators that would pair well with Nook. And the operators I have that I think would pair with Nook well would be, you know, Dokubi, Jackal, or Lion, or anyone similar to those people. And this is because they can spot out the defenders and send your Roman around. You can hopefully catch them off guard, you know, get them out of the game and benefit your team as a whole. 